I think every kid in America watches cartoons on the weekend. Yeah. Um, I've noticed the characters that have been around since before I was born, the, the 60s and before, Spider-Man, Green, Green Lantern, Green Arrow, Batman, whether they were superhuman or not, are drawn dramatically different, specifically their physiques. They were, you know, bit, they were muscular, but now they are, have physiques that are just unobtainable, unreal, and it doesn't matter if they're superhuman. Batman, you cannot look like that. He is a human being. Women, whether they're human or not, they don't have chests that look like that without surgery. Or tipping over. Yeah. And at the rate, and people are doing dangerous things to try and emulate these images. Now, not specifically necessarily comic book readers, but at some part of the culture, has, have we influenced that part of the culture, or has that part of the culture influenced us? And do we have a responsibility to try and correct that? Or, you know, as you said, you said mentioned about responsibility and John Stewart, I just feel I have to ask. Well, since it seems that I have to answer first, <laughs> I'm going to pass it to Josh. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> it, is, it is our responsibility. I, I think if you go on the internet and look at uh, the chatter among comic book readers, there is, uh, they've coined the phrase broke back pose among female superheroes, where you can see both their chest and their backside in the same pose, which is physically not possible. And I, I think it has become sort of a, a theme for a lot of comic artists now, and if you compare the uh, depiction of men and women and their body types to the men and women working in comic books. The, I mean, the, the sheer number of men versus women in comics is uh, something to be said about that. Yeah, but there's a uh, 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 I can I'll give the Yang part of that. Uh, you have, to, you have uh, the Avengers movie, and there is an awful lot of guys will say, I will agree with them, that. Uh, you'll live longer, you'll be healthier if you build up up to a certain point your body muscle mass and you take vitamins and you stay healthy and you don't drink and you don't smoke and you don't do the things that you shouldn't do but you do do the things that you should do and exercise is part of that. I don't think that the cartoon that we have presented in comic books where people are so inflated that they become unrealistically stupid uh, is a healthy thing to look look at. And I think a lot of that has to do with the fact that there's a lot of comic book artists that haven't been trained as artists and they shouldn't be doing it. <laughs> Whereas the people who are better artists really draw more healthy and athletic people. Brian Hitch, people like that, this Neil Adams guy, and other people are drawing people more realistic and they are healthy or they are stronger, they're slim hip and they're healthy. Um, I, we believe in it. Uh, I think that I think that it's part of where the culture is moving. There's always this overblown thing that happens, you know, in a culture where you, yeah, but it's stupid that you watch the bodybuilders, you know. I saw a fight between two bodybuilders outside of our gym, okay, and they were hitting each other. They looked like two high, two two tires having a fight. <laughs> Their fists would bounce off of one another, and they were boing like that, you know. And they, and they didn't hurt each other. They were just boinging their fists off each other. It looked silly as hell. <laughs> On the other hand, we were coming out of the gym when we saw that, where we were working out. So it's a kind of a yin and yang thing. It's stupid and funny and ridiculous. But at the same time, our society does have a responsibility to promote good health and good bodies so that we'll live, live longer. And you know, it's just the way it is. I mean, you, you, you can't, I don't think you can have it not both ways, so. Uh, one thing to note uh, in that, uh, just a, an aside referring to the Avengers, uh, there's a magazine, I believe it's Muscle and Fitness, which is a health magazine. 
uh, cover the workout routines of all the cast of the Avengers, and the one image they decided to feature on the cover was the Hulk. <laughs> the one person whose physique you could never obtain. <laughs> so we're laughing with you. Thank you, sir. Yep. Uh, yes, uh, I'd like to uh, say hello, uh, Neil, Josh. I uh, want to say it's a great pleasure seeing you again. I first met you back in 1979 when you accompanied your father along with your brother at the uh, Supercon in Houston mm -hmm. at uh, White Hill Hotel. Uh, I just want to say, I, I just remember you being so small and, and running around while your dad was doing drawings for the family. Okay. So <laughs> I think you're thinking of Jason. Yeah. You're thinking of Jason. Yeah, there's a lot of us. Oh, okay. Yeah. But he was small, it's true. <laughs> uh, I just want to say, I really enjoyed watching your career and, and uh, your brothers and, and the really terrific work that you guys are doing. And uh, I also have a question for Neil. Neil, I've enjoyed your portfolios and your sketchbooks. I have a whole bunch of them in my collection. I wanted to ask you, with all the great stories that you have, with all the great experiences that you share, is there a possibility that you'll be producing an autobiography? That's um, interesting. No? no? You know, that's, I think it's something well, like the, the art of Neil Adams, which we did about a year and a half ago, is semi autobiographical. Right. I, I think that there, there are a lot of people waiting for me to do a biography having to do with the Jerry Siegel Joe Schuster thing. And uh, the problem it's probably something that I'll do. The problem is that there are too many people to insult. You know, you gotta be honest about it. You know, when you when you wade through the crap you've got you got it all over you and it's very hard to shed it uh, without insulting people. I think that my I think that my career has been self evident. Everybody kind of knows. They don't know the real stuff. Why do we need an autobiography? It's it's you know public knowledge. Everybody knows stuff. And besides, you're too busy drawing some really cool comics. That's true. That's great. It's really great that you're drawing again. Really enjoying your stuff. Thank you. Thank you. Back to the art of Neil Adams. Neil wrote that himself, and he's like, well, I don't want someone else writing about what I did in my career. Just I'm, I'm going to write about it. So he, it has an interesting tone to it, and first person narrative there. And uh, I'm, I'm currently campaigning for a volume two. Uh, the art of the Latin, just for anybody who's interested, and if you stop by my table, I don't know if we have any copies left, but I don't know if we have copies left. Uh, the idea of the book was that it was supposed to be an art book, and it's not an art book. It's more of like there's a whole lot of stuff in it, and I don't really like art books. You know, where you turn a page and there's a, a painting and then there's a little type and there's a lot of white space and it's boring. So I don't like boring stuff. I like comic books. So it reads like a comic book and yeah, Dave is the publisher and he's just snowing in here. <laughs> and, but it's a, it was also designed by, by my son Jason and it's got a lot of uh, very cool things. And you guys ought to stop by my table and, and see the stuff that's there. Very Anyway, what were we talking about? <laughs> we've got three minutes. Yeah, we've got three minutes. One, he, is it going to be autobiography? No, there's not. Over here, we've got sure one more question. Uh, hey, Neil, you've done a lot for the comic book industry over the years, and uh, so this question might be a little weird, but uh, what comic book did you have the most fun working on, and why? Batman, because he's got a cape. <laughs> Gentlemen, we'll be on the convention floor. You can come see us. Come see us. Yeah.